if they don't, they can't transfer title to the car because they still owe money on it. Um, obviously, they don't have the title. The bank has the title, so to speak, or whoever's holding the, the loan. Then what we do instead is we sign a power of attorney. And the power of attorney is going to give the party the power, once they do pay off the car, to put the title in their own name. So that was one, that's something that we would also have on our checklist to make sure it gets done. And we'd like to send a client a client survey. And we have two surveys. We have one for litigation matter and one for collaborative matter. And um, I heard a lawyer a long time ago at a conference say that he sent out surveys. And everybody in the crowd was like, oh my gosh, because as you know, some of our clients are in a difficult time and they're not at their best. And so sometimes they're not happy with us, even though we're doing a great job. But I have found it really good practice to send out the surveys. Not everyone returns them, but many people do, and many people are very complimentary. And if they're not, if they do have a problem, you really would want to know. If they had a specific complaint with your firm, you'd want to know so you could correct that. So we found it to be a good practice and a helpful practice. Um, the funniest tip I ever got, or the funniest note I ever got, <laughs> is it, the client was happy with our services and was happy with the result, but did not care for the snacks that we had at the meetings. So, had to improve the snacks. <laughs> but it is a good practice to include a survey. And we just send it out with that letter that says our services are now complete. And then I have on my checklist arranged to take the client to dinner or to send a closing gift. And you you can't probably do that every time for various reasons, but it's a very nice practice to let them know that we appreciated their business and to take them to dinner. And I have found that they greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I think that they appreciate it and I think it helps you with your referral sources because they report back to the referral source, um, of course, what they think of you. So that may be a, a good way, especially if it's been a very emotional time for them, which of course it has. Uh, to have a relaxed, more social visit with them. So that's something on my list. But the great thing about these templates is you can adjust this. If you would never, never want to take them to dinner or send them a present, you can delete that from your template and only include the things that uh, you want to include for your closing case checklist. And I just assign all of this to a paralegal and then I put a due date of 30 days from the end of the case. So once the case is over, we load that in and we try to get it done in that time frame.